Hi, Floss Tube. This is Heather, the Imperfectly Perfect Stitcher, and thank you for joining me today. This is take, I don't know, like three, because um, every time I get into my video, I remember something I forgot to say. So this is just going to be it. Um, I'm actually taking a small break from work to film, so I need to get this done so I can get back to it. Um, it's been, I think, about two to three weeks since my last video. Um, I, I was hoping to film earlier, but life had other plans. Um, it is 3.30 and I'm drinking coffee. Don't give up. I got this at Michael's for like a dollar a couple of months ago and I'm, I love this mug. Um, but this is just an indication of how crazy life has been. Um, first thing, I'm on my phone this week, not my laptop. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm having the whole where's the camera, where are you issue. I'm trying to look at the camera so it's not weird, but it's weird for me. Um, we have been battling sickness for like two weeks in this house. My oldest started kindergarten this year and last Monday he brought home the death cold. Um, he was hacking and coughing and it was awful. He was so pathetic. Um, so I kept him home Monday. He was okay. He woke up the next day with like so much energy. I'm like, you're going to school, whatever. Well, that night I got the death cold, but I got it with fever and chills. So that was super fun. Couldn't swallow, couldn't like whatever. And I was trying to film that week, um, but I couldn't even talk. So that was not happening. And then my littlest got the death cold and then my husband got the death cold. So my son was at school Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, came home Thursday and developed a tummy bug overnight. And if you have ever seen a little boy with a tummy bug, it's the most pathetic, awful thing ever. Um, and <laughs> to make that night even more fun, my husband had offered to take both boys into the room with him so I could take some NyQuil and we're having <clears throat> issues getting everybody into their own bed because everybody's scared or nobody wants to sleep on their own. It's, there's a lot going on here. But so I took NyQuil. My son started throwing up overnight. I had to like drag myself out of that fog and help with that. Um, so he was home Thursday. So I didn't get to film then, of course. Um, Friday night, my husband got the bug, and then Saturday or Sunday, no, it was, what day is this? This is Thursday. Um, so my youngest caught that bug like two days ago, um, and he's only two, so that was really sad. But um, knock on all the wood, I've survived so far. I'm hoping to stay that way. Um, but needless to say, I'm back, I'm here. Oh. And since my last video, I have done, I've supported two births. So I've done some postpartum overnight work. Um, it's just been crazy. Um, I can't even, <clears throat> can't even <laughs> believe how busy it's been. Um, needless to say, I still have some stitching progress. I've got two new starts um, and I have some haul that I want to show you. But first, um, let me grab my notes real quick. I want to thank a couple of people. I got some fun um, shout outs. Um, of course, Bindi Stitchy, she did a st shout out, um, not too long ago. I don't think I've done a video since then. So thank you, Bindi Stitchy. You're amazing. Um, and also I can never say her, her name right. Mitch Stitch. Um, you guys have probably heard about her by now. She's in Australia and her voice is like butter. So I could just listen to her all day. Um, but she's super sweet and super funny and she gave me a shout out. And apparently I made her laugh a lot. Um, I don't think I was trying to make people laugh a lot, but whatevs. That's cool. <clears throat> um, is that what I have for there? Yes. Um, I'd like to do some shout outs of my own at the end. Um, but, okay. I'm talking really fast. I'm sorry. I have a limited amount of time, so I'm trying to get it all in. So new start. So I talked about this one in my last video. I wanted to start this for um, the full coverage fanatics group, um, but I did not have fabric, so I did not get to start it. But the fabric came like two days later after I filmed that video, my last floss tube. So I started it. This is the one you guys have all seen the Alice in Wonderland version um, because Bindi Stitchy is doing this. Um, so it was Christine um, at Every Stitch a Pleasure. And I, you know, 
Alice is cool and all, but I am a Snow White fan at heart. I love her. I love the whole movie. I think it's great. Um, so this I started. <clears throat> and I... Ooh, there's like threads everywhere. Um, I actually got a, a pretty decent start. I might have to hold something up. Alright, so oops, third. All right, so this is where I've gotten and I'm loving this. I think this is super cute. Let me just hold it up so you can see. Um, this is the doorway to the house and of course this is dopey. Um, this, this color right here, it's like this whole pattern is just filled with this color. I'm going to have to, um, I know Christina at Every Stitch of Pleasure bought a cone I probably should have just done the same thing, but that's okay. But isn't this cute? And I'm doing this on, this is 18 count weathered roses, Ada. I got it on 123 stitch. And the light isn't really showing it. It's, it's way more like mauve than it's coming up, but it's looking great on here. This is the first time I'm using a colored fabric that's not white or, um, like ivory or oatmeal so I was really nervous but I'm actually very pleased with how this is coming out excuse me while I put this back in the bag otherwise it's going on the floor and that's not good all right my other new start um I don't know why I bought this I just thought it was cute and I wanted to start um this is Christmas advent uh advent calendar sampler I've been calling it something wrong this whole time by Clouds Factory. Um, I think this is really, really, really flipping cute. Um, and I think I wanted to start something like this because each little square is kind of like a mini finish. And since I love big projects, it's hard to um, get that finished, like, satisfied feeling. There is like shenanigans going on outside my door it's an interesting hood I love it here but we live like on a street there's a school right up there so people walk by all day long and we can hear their conversations anyway so um, I started this and I got the first square done um, and I think this is just like 16 count Ada I'm really not loving this fabric because it's really super stiff but I got number one done the little cake she's adorbs didn't take me long at all um but yeah so I got that started um I think what I'd like to do is focus on year of whips next year so I'm one using that as an excuse to start all the things um but then I'm also thinking about stitch mania next year and how I don't have a ton of money to kit up 18 new starts so I have some things in here that I think I'm going to just hold off on and wait till Stitch Mania. And then um, I have some things that I want to like start so I could work on um, for your whips. But I think I'll do a, another video. I need some time to sit down and like clear my brain and think about all that. So that'll be a separate video. Um, but those two, I would love for that Christmas advent to be done by next Christmas because um, I want to steal Michelle Garrett's idea. Um, she did one and tacked it to a metal board so her daughter could use it as an actual advent, take a little magnet and move it along, and I like that. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, but if you do the math, you know, there's 25 squares, it's two a month, some of those are full covers and some are really big. So I want to get that started. We'll, we'll see. I want to kind of see how far I get. <clears throat> okay, so those were my only new starts. So now I'd like to go over, um, and it's like big today. It's hot and sweaty out. Sorry. Um, I'd like to go over whips. Um, just the ones that I've made progress on since last time. Um, and since I'm on my phone, I'm going to try to do some editing and picture inserting. Um, so fingers crossed that works and I'm not just like pointing for nothing. All right, so first thing I made progress on <clears throat> was my red Quaker cross stitch sampler. Um, it, I'll just go like this because I only made progress up here. 
Um, if you saw my last video, you know that I have a thing about anything that looks like a vulva. Um, so yeah, so here is where I was last time. And here is where I'm at now. So not a ton of progress. Ouch. Ooh, needle. There's a needle. See, I need needle minders. Um, but I did make a little bit. So I finished, uh, well, I didn't finish, but I got some more of these guys done. It's weird for me to talk with my head behind it. I finished up this motif, and then I started this guy right here. Um, I think... I think after I get this one done, I'm going to go back and do the back stitching here. I don't love back stitching, I have discovered, um, as most of us don't. So I want to keep that up, but I don't know. This one's weird. This one like calls to me randomly, um, and I get really into it, and then I don't feel the need to work on it anymore. We'll see. Also, this is... Um, I think I started working on this one like right after my last video um, and then I started doing the overnights and <clears throat> um, it kind of like killed my groove on that, you know what I mean? Right, then I got a little bit more work done on Be Inspired by Stitch Rovia. Rovia. This is from this... Um, this magazine cross stitcher. I know that Mkissa is going to start it soon. Um, and Mkissa totally have the same feels about this magazine as you did. Um, wasn't loving it. So I don't think I'll stitch anything else out of it. But this is the tape, the picture. Here's where I was last time. And here's where I'm at. Now. So, finished the heart. Oops, probably not that finger. So, finished the heart and then got the, the outline of the banner done. And then I lost my mojo because I realized that this is like huge blocks of <laughs> one color, um, which is sometimes my jam. I like that, um, but sometimes it's not. So, I don't know. Um, and then I got starditis and was starting other things. and But is coming out kind of cool uh yeah i want to get back to this so anyway be inspired um i'm gonna take bets on how many times i'm gonna say um it really drives me crazy and i keep doing it i just lost my bag mess today okay jesse marie from jesse marie does stuff has started a hashtag on Wednesdays we stitch black and that motivated me to get out my space cross stitch haven't done a ton of it I only worked on it last week and this week I will show you here what it looked like before and here is where I'm at now get on this part sorry so I got some more black filled in here some more black filled in here and I did a little bit of this outline of the end this is the word onto it says hold on to your hats um, so yeah I was kind of impressed with myself for getting more done because I haven't touched this in forever you know I like this piece if I knew now knew then when I started this what I know now there are so many things I would have done differently would not have done this on 14 count I would have used anchor black um, but it is what it is so I'm gonna keep going with it I'm way too far into it my boys like it my husband likes it so at this point it just is what it is um, so I'm gonna keep going with that Speaking of all these pieces, remember last time how I went on and on and on about a rotation? Didn't do any of it. None of it. As soon as I feel like I have to do something, I don't want to do it anymore. And I only have, well, at the time I had two projects. I did finish my, I totally dropped you. Um, I finished my ECT. Can't see it. 
but that's done. So that, that counts as a finish. Um, so I had to get that done and I, my cross, my swirly cross is on another deadline. So I've been working a lot on that. <clears throat> Taking all of these out. Sorry, I have threads everywhere because I don't have a useful minder, but my swirly cross. So um, I can insert a picture, but basically I had this bottom half done the last time you saw this, and now I have this side done. So I'm making okay progress. I'm still fairly nervous about getting this done on time. Um, I know December is still like two months away, but like I feel like I should be a lot further. So. I don't want to set a goal because as soon as I set a goal, I'm going to fight against it. I just know myself. So I think I'm just going to keep going. I would love to be done. Um, there's a huge swirl right here. I would love to be done with that swirl by the end of October. I think if I can get that done, I can bust the rest of this out in November. So we shall see. I'm going to try. That's all I can do is try. I have to, have to, have to get this done um, probably about a week or so before Christmas. I'm not going to professionally frame it. Like, that's too much money for this. I'm just going to pick out a frame and make my husband do it. He worked at Aaron Brothers at some point in his life. He can figure it out. So, yeah, but I, I'm impressed. I think it's turning out really nice. Um, I'm learning how to work with this. This is just DMC number 69. They have this, like, pack of variegated floss. But you can get them separately at Hobby Lobby for sure. So this is DMC 69. And down here, you know, in the bottom half that you can't see, I <laughs> made some interesting choices. So it looks a little funny, but I think up here I'm, I'm starting to learn how to work with it. So I'm stoked. That's my swirly cross. I'm going through this a lot faster than I thought I would. All right, haul. No, stash acquisitions, whatever you want to call it. Um, I got a couple of fun things. I'm excited. So the first thing I got because I needed a better system for my floss. I had like three or four different bobbin bins and trying to find what went where and what piece was kitted where was annoying. So I went on Amazon and I bought this lovely double-sided beast. Um, and I am slowly, I'm almost done putting all of my bobbins in here and I'm gonna just work out of one piece. I don't really work in the car. Um, I can't. It doesn't settle with my stomach very nicely. So I don't really travel with pieces. Um, so this, I don't really feel the need to have like smaller things. And if I did decide to travel, I would just pick a piece like the cross that has one or the space that has like a lot of black and I could just take black. But I'm really excited about this. Almost done bobbinating. It's taking a small century. Um, but I'm really, really happy with that. Then, put this on my lap now. Okay, so I think I caused a lot of people to buy this. I found this on Facebook. Somebody had posted, and I immediately went over to Instagram and posted and tagged Abby from Top Knot Stitcher. And um, then we all bought it. I know Bendy Stitchy's into it. Um, I want to say Abby, I forgot who else. But the class schedule stitch along. This is Harry Potter inspired. This is from Armada Designs. These are the same people that are doing the um, Nintendo Sal this year. So they're the ones who designed that. Um, I've never, well, I mean, I've been stitching for like five months now, so haven't done a Sal. I'm a little bit nervous about keeping up, um, but I'm excited. I went ahead and bought the fabric pack, which comes with the fabrics and a needle minder because I need one. Um, and as soon as you buy it, um, they, they send you the, the pattern for the, the header and how to do the boxes. Um, so as soon as my fabric comes and I know that she was back ordered, I want to get that done so I can start on time next year. I'm really excited about this. Um, so yeah, so that was the first purchase. Second one was not a purchase. I won a giveaway and it actually just arrived like an hour ago so I'm excited to show you. So Kellyanne um, 
had a she reached a milestone in followers on YouTube subscribers so she did a giveaway and I won um I'll never win these things so I'm stoked and I got look at this fabric you see that this is my first hand dyed anything and I am beyond ecstatic um she kept apologizing that it was small and I'm like girl I don't care it's it's beautiful she calls it the dyed panda this is 18 count 12 by 18 it's rosy this is rosy colored but I have no idea it's my first hand dyed anything so like of course I want whatever goes on it to be like perfect I have zero idea what to put on this it's 12 by 18 like I said so if you have ideas let me know it smells good too <clears throat> and then with that I also got I messaged her and asked her about this because um, it didn't come with any details but I got this I got this floss it's this really pretty teal variegated situation and it's really soft I don't know if she dyed this herself or or where this came from um, it feels good and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this either like I said, it literally just arrived like an hour ago, so I need to figure it out. Okay. <clears throat> um, then I was watching Jen from Delicious Threads, and she had to go and mention the fact that so-and-so was having a 75% off sale. It's a sale. Drama for me. So that night after her video, I was on my phone and started looking at things. Well, that website is not very mobile friendly, at least for me. Um, I was adding things to my cart. It was really hard to like see what I was adding. It was hard to get good descriptions. I'm like, whatever. I'm just gonna create an account so I can look at this on my computer tomorrow. I had like 20 things in the cart because I wanted to look at them better. And there were pages, you guys. There was over, there was hundreds of pages of 75% off stuff, hundreds. Um, and I literally spent like three hours that night, like just clicking through. So I go to make an account on my phone, delete everything from my cart. Oh God, I was so frustrated. And I almost just said whatever, like not meant to be. Um, but the next day I needed to go to my parents house for my brother was in town. And, um, so I got on my computer and did it there and got a couple of things, but after I ordered, I realized that random things popped back into my cart. So two of these things that I got from so-and-so are not staying here. I want to send them to somebody in Floss Tube Land. So pay attention. Okay, the first thing I got um, is Lizzie Kate Spring ABCs. I had Autumn in there, which is the one I really, really wanted, and that one got deleted, and by the time I could get back, it was gone. So I got Spring. Um, I think it's cute, you know, it's just, obviously. Um, Steph from Just Keep Stitching, she has enabled me with Lizzie Kate. I would like all of them now, not all the snippets, just the um, seasonal ABCs. Uh, so I need to go on a hunt for those. I know it's not very hard. But that's cute, right? I'll probably just do the DMC conversion because uh, I don't have sales. Okay, <clears throat> then I got, and a lot of these things I didn't even know what it was. I'm telling you, I just got so frustrated with the whole like mobile to desktop trying to buy things that I gave up. But this one, this is Little Dove Designs Home Sweet Home. Can you see that? And I just thought it was cute. I wanted to do a little home sampler and our house is yellow, so that would be fun. Um, yeah, I thought it was cute. That one I like. This next one is one of those that I didn't realize I ordered until it showed up. <clears throat> um, but I actually like it and I think I'm gonna stitch it for my niece, um, we'll see, 
Serendipity Design Fantasy Sampler. It's like blush colored. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but it's really pretty. Super girly. And, you know, I've got two boys, so, like, this would never land in my house. Um, so I think it would be fun to do that. Obviously change the date. And it's one of those ones you could just kind of pick your own color. I like that one. Then I got this one. Not knowing what it was because... It was in my cart as a possibility for somebody else. I thought I took it out, but I did not. Heart and Hand Monthly Marker. This is July. Um, conveniently, it's my birthday month. Um, it's cute. But what I didn't realize is that it's part of like this whole set. So now I, I'm going to hold on to this because I'd like to get all of these and do that. Um, but that will take some time. So... I have July, one down, 11 to go. And I don't think these are hard to find. Um, I just didn't realize that it was part of a set. This is what you get for being a newbie. Um, it's called for a week's dye works, but it does have Anchor and DMC conversion. So I will most likely be doing DMC. All right, I got this Shepherd's Bush. Um, I'm actually on the hunt, um, I think Kate no, uh, the Sash Queen, not Tunic Arts. Kate the Sash Queen. She's doing one that says Happy Everything, I believe. I think it's like the cover page for the Stitch Mania. I want that. But I also like this one. This one says Celebrate Everything from Shepherd's Bush. I thought that was cute too. <clears throat> um, none of these will be started this year. I can tell you that for sure. Um, I'm going to hold on to these and pick the ones that I love, 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 and see if I can get a couple of them kitted up, most likely with DMC for um, Stitch Mania. But as you can see, I mean, I have a floss stash going, but it's the only thing I have a stash of. Um, this one is also Shepherd's Bush. This is Winterberry Buttons. Really hard to see. This one I'm undecided about if I'm going to keep this or not. We'll see. I don't know if this is me. We'll see. Alright, this is just Nan. Just Nan, just Nan. Winter Blues. Um, I am really nervous about this guy because this is a band sampler with a ton of specialty stitches that I've never done. Came with the little embellishment pack. Um, I think this is really gorgeous, but I'm really nervous to do it. I don't want to mess it up, but I think I'm going to keep this and, I mean, it shows you how to do all the specialty stitches, so I think I can figure it out. But it won't be started for a while, but I like that. Okay. I also got this one. Sorry, you keep looking at the top of my head. I will learn to be more prepared. Um, okay, so Reindeer ABCs by JBW Designs. Designed by Judy Whitman. Those reindeer crack me up, and that's why I had to get this. But, I got two. I don't need two. So this is one of the ones that I'm going to be giving away. So, I'm not going to do any weird contest. I'm going to do the Cindy Stitchy style. If you would like to stitch reindeer ABCs, it will be mailed to you in the most economical way possible. Just right on the bottom, I'd love to stitch a reindeer ABCs. If more than one person is interested, I'll do a random number generator. Um, if not more than one person, then you'll just get it. Um, I can't promise you when I'll get this sent out. Um, it, you know, will be this month, but I just don't know when. Um, so again, if you want to stitch reindeer ABCs, just tell me that. And you can have that. Alright, the other giveaway, well, actually... 
almost everything left in my lap is a giveaway. So I got this soda stitch design and it was definitely not what I was thinking it was. I put it in my cart to look at it, it wasn't there and then it was and then it came. I don't want to stitch it. <laughs> this is a Korean learning alphabet. Um, I have no desire to learn Korean right now. I'm trying to learn Spanish because my son's in a Spanish immersion school. Um, so this is more than I can handle. Then I was thinking, wait, wait, wait. They have these cute, like, other charts where it's just a little figure. Maybe I should keep it. But I, I just don't see myself doing this. They're adorable. Like, this is adorable. Um, that would be really cute, like, as a baby sampler. But I just, I won't do it. Um... Again, if you would like to stitch, oops, I need to learn to talk. Soda stitch ABCs, put that in the comments. I'd love to stitch soda stitch ABCs, and I will send this to you. Um, again, if there's more than one person interested, random number, blah blah blah. Um, also, it would be super if you were a subscriber. You know, oh, I just tore the plastic. <sighs> Okay, so then I went to my favorite thrift stores. In this thrift store, I have decided that when I see craft stitch stuff, I need to buy it, so they keep accepting it. <clears throat> I haven't ever seen anything until this last time. So I found this time this little Jiffy stamped cross stitch, Bird Co-op. It is stamped. Um, but it is a kit. It has, you know, I haven't even opened this yet. It has floss and a little card. Somebody already wrote the colors on it. It's got a little magnet for your needle minder or your needle. It's got the directions. And it has, obviously, it's a little bitty one. Ooh. First of all, bonus needle for you. Um, and it has this little bitty guy. Won't take anybody very long. But if you know somebody who would like to stitch a birdhouse, if you would like to stitch a birdhouse, um, just put, I love the Jiffy Stamped Cross Stitch. And I will pick somebody. You will know if you won this when I do my next video, which will hopefully be in about two weeks. It could be three, it could be a month. I don't know. You gotta just bear with me. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do as a combo prize, because I don't wanna send too many things. So I found this chart. I think there's actually a needle in there somewhere. I found this chart with the bookmark. Learn Counted Cross Stitch, Stitch a Bookmark. There you go. Um, it's not the kit, it's just the chart. If you want that cool. This one comes with project cards. Look at that tag. Right there. Can you see that? Is it blurry? It's Michael's from 1995. But project cards, I don't use these. Um, these were $1.79 in the day. Little 20 cent stamp on there. My, this uh, thrift store was having a half off sale when I went. I, I literally, I got all of this. I got a stack of books for my kids and um, this book. If you are having a baby, you need to get your partner to read this book. Um, this is like the doula Bible um, about husbands and partners. Um, not always husbands, but partners need to read this. This is fabulous. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I have a lending library for my clients. So that book, all this stuff I just showed you, plus this, that I'll show you in a second, and a stack of books for my kids for $4. I was stoked. And then this one I'm keeping, sorry, this is the best find I've ever found at that store. Um, they had part of a Q-snap and I was digging through everything trying to find the rest of the Q-snap. It was actual Q-Snap brand. Couldn't find that. 
but when I pulled out the fabric container, this was like this. And I was like, what is that? And it was tucked, like, stuck in between the shelf and the wall. I'm like, what is that? Dude, fabric. 25 count white Lugana. Swagger. There. 25 cents. Y'all, I know that some of you are finding like full kit for a buck and all that, but let me tell you, I can't ever find anything down here. But yeah, and it's like, I got a piece of fabric. I am halfway thinking about sending or asking if I can send some of my random fabric that I've, this, like this one and the ones I got from Hobby Lobby to one of our residential fabric dyers, seeing if they will hook a sister up because I'd love some more hand dyed fabric. And I am sorry, I am just too chicken poop scared to do it myself. Um, I just don't have any money to spare, so I know you can't mess it up. But one, I don't want to spend the money on the writ. Um, because it's like five bucks a bottle. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Either that or I'm just going to be happy with my lovely white fabric. Because you can do a lot with that. Alright. Oh, I've got to stretch out. I think that's mostly everything. I do... I gotta show you, I have these big huge windows and I'm telling you, people walk across the street all the time and like every time somebody walks by, like they can see me. So they're like staring at me like, what are you doing and who are you talking to and why are you holding up that picture? I am now the crazy lady in the window. Okay, shout out. So I already shouted out Mitch Stitch, Mitch Stitch, girl, you gotta get a easier, well, don't change your name from me, but Mitch Stitch. I keep feeling like I'm going to say something naughty when I say your name. Um, shout outs. I have been watching a butt ton of floss tube. It's like my new addiction. I really don't even watch TV anymore. There's a couple of shows that I love and I'll watch them. Um, but floss tube is like, even my husband's getting to know you guys. So sorry. But a couple of people I wanted to shout out. Um, I am loving Stitching, Stitching, Stitching Jewels. Um, she's been around for a little bit now. She's got a lot of videos out. She does huge pieces, which is why I think I'm attracted to like her style. Um, she's a big fan of Ronnie Rowe. Um, they're like these pixelated black and gray scale works of art. It's amazing. Um, she's working on a what is she doing right now? She's doing, well, she's a beekeeper also. So she's doing a couple of bee pieces. God Save the Queen. She's, you gotta go look at her. She's doing amazing stuff. Um, she's just kind of chill. She's up there in Colorado. Um, and I know that you guys have all found her by now, but Handmade. Um, H-A-N-M-A-Y-D-E. Handmade. <coughs> she... She's got like two or three videos out now. In her first video, she takes us through her stitching story and how her grandma um, turned her on to stitching and how that evolved over her growing up. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful story. And then she like just takes us on a little journey and shows us all of her pieces. She does some amazing, gorgeous ladies, um, big pieces. She's another like large scale stitcher. Um, and then her second video is a whip parade. Uh, I'm not 100% through yet. I just found it because I'm at the gym. But holy crap, you guys. She's she's great. So go check out Handmade. Um, I've been watching a lot of people. Um, lollipop stitches. Girl, I love you. You and your Disney thing got it going on. Um, and yeah, I love everything you're stitching. It's great. She's She's another Disney fan, um, but she did the Black Cat Society, um, and she did the Tiny Modernist Happy Halloween. She just finished that, I think. <clears throat> um, I could go on and on. I love Floss Tube. I could watch it all day, and I do. Um, I actually have it on when I'm working, <laughs> which is probably why it takes me forever to work, because 
There's just so many great stickers out there. I've loved seeing all the videos of the retreat, super jelly, FOMO over here. Um, that looked like a lot of fun. I'm so glad you guys had a great time and I'm excited to hear about the one that's coming up in Minnesota. I know Mindy Stitchy's going, I know uh, McKenna's going, um, who's that? Farm Girl, I think she's the one who's putting that on, but anywho, I feel like I just talked really fast at you, sorry if I did, I'm working on that, but thank you for subscribing, thank you for commenting, um, I looked and I have like 85 subscribers, which I know is nothing in the grand scheme of things, but you guys... 85 people like cared enough to hit that button that floors me i'm just like little old me i don't know if you can hear that siren but it's loud hold please okay. um so i just even to have like more than one subscriber i was shocked so thank you it means a lot every time my phone lights up with a new subscriber it's like happy dance Every time my phone lights up with a new comment, it's like happy dance. Um, I try to answer everybody. I don't get a ton of comments, but that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm new. I'm, I know it'll get there, but I'm having a blast doing these videos. Um, I wish I could be a little bit more consistent. I will try, but like I said, my life is unpredictable. I'm on call and December, just so you guys know, is going to be absolutely nutty. I have three births lined up. Um, and it's the holidays so <clears throat> i may be scarce that month but um until then i hope to be around a couple more times before that but thank you um thank you thank you thanks for following me on ig too on insta instagram love it that's like my new facebook i'm barely on facebook anymore but um that's all i have i'll stop talking now thank you guys have a great I guess stitchy weekend. It's almost the weekend. Today's Thursday the 11th. Um, I don't know if I'll get this up today or tomorrow, but either way, enjoy your weekend and I will see you guys soon. Bye.